camera. I forgot I was <laughs> vlogging. goodness y'all it is the day before McCoy's party we are in full-on cleaning mode I've got all my strawberry decor up and done I think at least for now and I'll show you that in a little bit I'm just leaving it up for his party the main decorating area is gonna be over here as usual I don't have a ton of stuff since so it's Tennessee Titans theme and this child is going nuts because he wants to open two of his presents Can I? this morning yes yeah, sorry the Roomba is loud I think it's on its last leg it's making weird noises what do you think it is Let me see. No I want to use it for decor. That's why I gave it this, to you. This is, I love gold. Yeah, and then you can hang it up downstairs with merits when y'all move down there. Or in your room since you're Tennessee Titans. Okay, so this is part of the party decor and then a present is too. Is this part of the party decor? Kind of. I, it felt like. Yeah, I knew it! <laughs> Do you love it? It doesn't have a number on it. Is that okay? You still love it? <laughs> What do you think? What is, what is the other one? This Wait. pennant. Do you love it, Koi? Let's see. It's to wear tomorrow for the party. Do you think it'll fit? Oh, dude, it's so cool. You love it? He literally told me it's going to be a Titans jersey. Did you think it was going to be a Titans jersey? I thought it, I thought it was going to be a Derrick Henry jersey. Well, I couldn't find Derrick Henry, so that'll well, we can ask for that for Christmas. I got two jerseys, you know. Two jerseys. I love it. Okay, happy birthday. <sighs> oh my goodness, y'all. I am a H-O-T-T -T hot mess, but I figured I was going to have to show you my face at some point in time today. <laughs> like, might as well see what's happening. Um, Okay, we've been cleaning all morning. That room that sounds terrible. Okay, um, I've got lots of stuff to catch you up on. First things first, I showed this on Instagram yesterday. I want to share it with you because it's so stinking cute, y'all. One, uh, it's a top. Can we tell? And it's got a sleeve like I love. One of the House of Color um, gals that I follow, Kylie Epperson. I think she's from Iowa or Nebraska. I think she's from Iowa. Um, anyway, and she's a farm girl and she's a House of Color um, consultant. Anyway, she had shown a shirt very similar to this in this brand. It's J-O-D-I-F-L. Jodiful. Jodiful. Um, but hers had more like greens in it and I really wanted it. It was so cute. She said she'd gotten it from a boutique. So I got on Poshmark, found it. Well, I found this one. I didn't find the one she had, but this is the only one I could find in a large. It's a big oversized kind of, um, it's just a blouse. Anyway, it's so cute. So I was so excited to find it. Um, anyway, I just want to show it to you because it's adorable. Uh, so if you are an autumn and looking for something cute, I feel like I can totally make this summer with some cute earrings. Um, I don't think it screams autumn, especially like with the print. So I was so excited to find that even though it wasn't in the exact color she had gotten. Um, so if you think this is cute, go check out Poshmark and see if you can find it. I'm doing a large and it fits perfect. Um, it's a little kind of, um, not super oversized, but flowy, which is great. Um, okay, showed you that. Uh, Merritt's saddle pad came in. I think I had told y'all that we had custom ordered him a saddle pad to go with some of his show shirts. So I wanted to show you that. So it's over here. Um, he's had it in his room because we're trying to clean up for the party, but I told him to bring it out so I could show it. Um, if you are horse show people and needing a saddle pad, we went with Sunburst saddle pad. She was amazing. This is backwards. Um, she totally like helped me pick the colors and helped me design it and all of that and was just fabulous amazing customer service so we have his pink yellow red um and then yellow again and then the orange and of course black so it matches all of his um solid button-up shirts of course we got black we got red i've got this orange one here that has a little bit of detail in it which i think goes but i might dye him just a plain orange as well because i am and here's the pink I am going to get him a solid white. You can get him for like 10 bucks on, um, see how pretty that is? I hear a child. What are you doing? Hi. They're hiding from me because they don't want to clean. Um, why am I still holding this? I think I might, we have, um, a couple of graduation parties to go to tonight. So I think I might wear that with those cream pants that I wore at the beach. Those Lee, um, the Lee brand ones from Amazon that are so good. I might wear that tonight, but I'll show you. Um, anyway, oh, you can get like white button up just kids. They're probably like, um, uniform shirts on Amazon for like 10 bucks and I'm gonna do some dyeing, you know so I'm gonna do him a yellow to match the yellow um in the saddle pad and then I might do him an orange too that way um he will have lots of options for um his western pleasure um outfits so that is exciting we absolutely love the saddle pad what else is happening um I decorated for 
Now my sink, oh, my dishwasher's gone. I'm like, now my sink is making noise. I'm sorry, if y'all can even hear me, I don't know. Um, I decorated for summer, so I'll show you that once I kind of get things um, tidied up a little bit. It's basically the exact same I did last year, y'all. I just, no creativity. Well, my tiered tray's a little bit different, and then of course I did my chicken nester, which was new, so. Chicken nester, nester. You know what I'm talking about, the big thing on the wall. Um, okay, y'all, we had a real bad storm Thursday night uh it was real scary <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen um but it just started Thursday night and the, you know our phones went off like take cover whatever and the boys were outside doing chores and they came running in and it was like I'm I don't think I've ever been so scared weather wise like it was terrifying and even Craig was like get your shoes get downstairs like a little scary anyway we did have some damage, nothing terrible. We were all safe, it was fine. The front um, storm door to the house got blown and broken, so it's gone. Um, there's still glass everywhere, I gotta get that cleaned up. Um, and then our stock trailer blew over on its side onto our round pen, like where we work the horses. So that was the biggest blow, I think. Um, what do you need glasses for? Um, you got quite to see. You're gonna play what? Let me see them. They look good. Woo! Baseball player. Oh, we just got their baseball schedules. They're playing a ton of games this summer. Like, like at least double more than they did last year. So, it's fine. I don't ever schedule anything for June because I know that's all baseball. And so, it's fine. We just do baseball all June. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the storm. Oh, my gosh. It was terrifying. So, I got a few clips of it on Instagram and I saved them to my phone. So, I'll show you those. But, um, it was real scary. Oh, I was telling you the damage. Um, I'll show you the clips first. Our trailer's fine. <laughs> Round pin. It's not. Nuts. All oh, this tin is blown. Marty was down in his cooler, so he's fine. Checked on all the ponies and horses. They're absolutely fine. The boys had just fed them before the storm came, so they were inside eating. Oh my goodness, y'all. I do not care for this at all. Woo. That is scary. Scary. Terrifying terrifying so you've seen i think i showed you the clip with the round pin down and then one of like the big concrete bunkers was down i don't know if i showed you that or not but um some tin had blown everywhere that was just kind of like it didn't come off of a building it was just like tin that was piled up so that was you know not a big deal a lot of people fared a lot worse than we did so we were blessed just to have that happen um so we're kind of doing some cleaning up <laughs> and fixing things that got um not destroyed well yeah destroyed during the storm so we're safe and i hope that that doesn't ever happen again because no thank you mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. at least we have a basement like so we felt safe but like that was scary <laughs> um, like in the beginning the boys were like uh you know we knew we were probably gonna go downstairs so they were like grabbing their stuffed animals and then all of a sudden it just like the windows started shaking and the house was shaking and it was like pitch black outside and i was just started screaming like get downstairs and we were just like running through the house it was no thanks. <laughs> it's not good. Anyway, we're safe. We're fine. I'm here to tell about it. So, um, that happened. What else was I going to tell you about? Oh, I was going to show you the decor. I'll, I'll um, kind of finish all this stuff that's making a bunch of noise, and then I'll show you the strawberry decor. Should I be cleaning and decorating for a party? Yes. Am I cleaning out this craft cabinet instead? <laughs> you bet I am. I started out this little, um, I don't know. It's just kind of like a little chicken wire crate. Always sits right here with like... It was supposed to be like easy access stuff that they like to use. I also keep that kind of stuff over here too. I need to like get better organized, especially going into summer. And I know they're going to want to be doing more crafty stuff because we'll have more time. Um, but it had gotten like overflown, overflowing and stuff was over and they'd forgotten they had pastels and these black crayon markers and all kind of stuff. Um, these are those alcohol markers. These are merits. Koi brought his to school the other day and was a huge hit. But um, just stuff that I know they like to use. I did go ahead and pull out the stencils that we had gotten during quarantine that are super cool. I think I actually have another box of stencils I might get out too. Um, just like easy access stuff I know they want to do. And then over here I usually keep like their newest coloring books. So these, the ones that they got for Easter. And then I think some of their other ones that they got for Christmas that they like to do. I just kind of keep over here. And then they put Merritt not so much anymore because he really doesn't bring library books home. He reads more at school, but Koi will put his library books here too. But that is done for the year. So don't worry about that. Anyway, I'm trying to clean and organize all this so I can get this craft cabinet back organized so that like 
<clears throat> like I said, during the summer when they have more time to craft and do stuff, um, they can just come in here and grab what they like and not have stuff falling out at them. So I'm just working on this here for a bit. It's only 10. I can't even get my groceries and the cake and everything until noon. So, um, and I'm not going to do the floors until after we get back home. <laughs> oh gosh, they're terrible. Tonight, because I know the boys are just going to come in and out all day and it's not even, there's no point in the um living room is not bad it just got vacuumed i need to clean off the table and stuff so i'm feeling pretty good and i really want to get this project done so i'm gonna do it oh my gosh i almost got to t forgot to tell y'all we finished the puzzle last night oh my gosh okay here's the deal with these puzzles they are i don't think i've said this before on my channel but they're so stinking cool and it's hard to see and through the camera um and so neat because they're like where's waldo for football but it took us since valentine's y'all to get this done they are so hard to do because every piece could fit everywhere and like these are not so hard because you knew they had to like spell a word or you knew it had to look a certain way but this stuff up here took us forever anyway it is done i did that glue that i got from walmart on it last night and it's dried so now it's all stuck together um they say you can do back and front but i just did the front because i just got a frame for 12 bucks off of amazon that's gonna come and so i feel like i want to save the rest of the glue for when we do the tennessee titans one um so i mean i feel, feel like it's pretty good it's it is staying together anyway so i'm just gonna let it sit here a little bit longer and then i'll maybe put it in Merritt's room so it doesn't get messed up during the party and then we'll frame it later oh my goodness y'all i feel like i've shown this before all nice and neat and then it always becomes a dumping ground but at least we'll be ready to go for the summer i did put the stencils and stuff up here so they can see them and grab them this is kind of just our art caddy we started doing this during quarantine when we were like learning at home and we would take this out every day and sometimes we just left it out on our little counter over here this is still stuff that needs to be given away and thrown away um but then they can just take this whole little caddy and have whatever they need if they're crafting or have a homework project or whatever I, this used to have like my um i don't even remember toiletries or makeup stuff or something in my old dorm <laughs> I, I told him at some point we would take all this off and like redo it but we haven't done it yet so it just has my name on it um this is all kind of still the same i just purged a bunch of stuff out of it um and then this is just basically nothing just duct tape and some old notebooks this is our like ready to do bin like activities we want to do this summer there's little grow bigfoot things and some little bead projects and these water beads they want to fill up a big um like kids swimming pool with them and play um so this is just kind of like Oh, we need something to do quick. Let's look in here. Um, these are all of like our flashcards that we will still use. U.S. President, States, Capitals, Time and Money, Division, Multiplication, Subtraction, and uh, Addition. These little, um, they're like uh, dry erase boards. And you can put stuff in them. So like they were so good during quarantine because we could like practice any kind of math skills or writing or whatever it may be um it has this like little slide piece i got these at tuesday morning a million years ago they're, they're crayola brand i don't know if you still get them or not but they have this little piece and you can slide stuff in and out um so that you can do different stuff on the dry erase or you can just you know play markers and and color and stuff so that is good i did put all of our clay into a little plastic bin to keep it safe and I put our uh diamond art in a little plastic thing it was in this big one and it was way too big so I found the smaller one so then I could put the clay in this one so that's good and then this bin has all of our like personalization stuff all of our fabric paint all of our paint pens all of our fabric markers all that kind of stuff to do personal part not of uh, customization what calls it customization so that's all that stuff and then of course our um 3d pen and all the stuff that goes with that is in there i'd love to get a box for it but for now it's just in a bag that's fine and this is just some stuff that they still have yet to customize over there um and then the bins are just color scissors and glue i really this one's so hard to open because i have too much junk on top of it i really pared this one down a lot and just got rid of some stuff i'm gonna just give it to the school because i know they need it this is paints and stamps so all of our painting stuff i found a bunch of paint brushes i probably shouldn't have gotten quite so many for his birthday but it'll be fine and this is all of the stamping stuff so now they can just take this whole thing out and do stamps if they like and this is all of the paints and stuff down in there so that is good and then this is just craft surprise supplies so this is anything like popsicle sticks googly eyes um, pipe cleaners uh, any kind of fun little containers i saved that i thought they might want to make something out of pom-poms you know pony beads just craft supplies and they can easily reach that one too so that's good um so that's there and then i'm gonna push this here 
and then try not to put anything else in here that way this summer if they're bored or usually they will see something on YouTube or a TV show or something like that and then they want to like make it or craft or do something so now everything will be clean for the summer <laughs> And they will be good to go. Hopefully we can keep it that way. And then of course I did this. I don't remember. I know I did a YouTube video about it. But I just have pencils and pens and glue and scissors. And this is dry erase stuff. This is just um, color. Not color. Color pencils. Is that what these are called? Color pencils. And then just these little twistable crayons here. So that's all ready to access as well. And then this little basket. I wish I would have shown you the before. And maybe I did in another vlog. But it was like overflowing up to here. Full of mess. So we cleaned that all out. And I've just got their pastels. Their black paper. Some just plain paper. And then put their new alcohol markers here. And Koi can put his there too. And then I've gotten them these. I think they got these for Christmas. They're those silver markers that they like. They're like double outline markers they're called. Put those in there too so they can easily find those. And then these are the crayons. My mama had sent them these forever ago and they're into them now. But they color on black paper. They're really cool. So that's what's in there to be easily reached. Now I need to put all this in the thing to go to school. Whole bag of trash to throw away. I've got to find a spot to put our projector um because it does not need to go in there it was taking up a lot of space so i'll probably put it in the playroom um which they're cleaning now <laughs> stay tuned playroom closet to get it out of the way and then clean this table off i have to show y'all what i found i'm sure i've shown these before but um comment down below if you're a child of the 80s and had a sticker book it was a thing you had the binder um mama had my name put on it and then you would get the these sticker pages it said sticker sticker stickers and any stickers you got you would put them in your sticker book i mean am i the only one comment down below if you here. had a sticker book anyway um my mom had made these for Mara and mccoy back up when they were little and i had them in the craft cabinet and forgot about them so they have sticker books as well mccoy just has a few pages so he's gonna start putting all of like his when i buy water bottle stickers and they don't have anywhere to put them when they have extra stickers from traveling or whatever, they're going to start putting them in their books. Merritt's was more full because we did his a little bit more before I put them in the craft cabinet and they got lost. But I love this. I just love sticker books. I mean, clearly I treasured mine. I still have it. I have a lot of like Hello Kitty, Sanrio surprise kind of stuff. Oh my gosh. New Orleans Aquarium. This is all the Hello Kitty stuff. Anybody else obsessed with Hello Kitty at that age too? And you got to go to the store and it was just like so magical oh my goodness so fun oh, isn't it something you just open up an old book and all the memories just come flooding back y'all <laughs> okay i've got a couple things set up here he doesn't know where his titans football is so i don't know about that he's got some of his favorite um titan people football players and i thought we'd do like a little banner or something with clothes pins i don't know we've got the plates that's his valentine's um, box. I just don't have anything else. Um, I printed this off to put on the cake. I just got my radon stuff out. I'll put the cheesy cheesy dip in this one. Um, but right now I have got to head to the grocery store. Y'all, I just keep getting hotter and hotter of a mess. Um, get the, I just have a grocery pickup so I don't have to get out, but I do have to get out at Walmart to pick up the cake. Um, we had to get two cookie cakes because one only fed nine, or at least that's what she said. I don't know. I couldn't really, it was a situation but i ordered it so we're going to get the cakes and then i have to get old english at walmart because um they did not have it at the grocery store so here we go <laughs> we got the cake it's so cute yeah thanks are you gonna check us out perfect okay we got the cakes and the i need to put my car in drive um the cakes and the old english they had it so that was great now we got the high v order we are going to run by McDonald's and get some chicken nugs, and then we're heading home. Okay, y'all. We're home. Farmer's in helping me unload everything. Um, I wanted to show you the cakes, if I can get them open. They are super cute. I was really you nervous really about it. McDonald's? No, I didn't because you ate lunch already. Oh, Koi and I... You, I saw you eat lunch! It was breakfast. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Koi and I stopped and got... I just figured you're mad. Is this guy... Is this guy icing under this thing oh my gosh i think it does anyway so we did football on one i'm gonna keep these in the fridge because they had them in the fridge um what was i even talking about 
stop her at McDonald's. Not me lunch you're mad at me. Oh my gosh! I thought you already ate. You were in here eating. Breakfast. Okay. Well, it was it was a tortilla. Yeah, I was hard up. Oh my gosh. Anyway, and then this one says. Not on days when I have to plan a party all by myself and clean this house. Um, can you see? Am I wrecking this? Okay. Happy birthday, McCoy. They did a really good job. I love like how they did the capital letters. I think that'll be cute. And I'll just have the two of them sitting out here cute somehow. Then I'm going to put these in the fridge. Did I get anything else? I got the stuff. I got all the buns. I'll put drinks in there. I got stuff. Wheat thins and cheesy, cheesy dip. I got all the stuff I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Um, hobo beans, which is just like pork and beans, kidney beans, lot they did give me lima beans, didn't they? I was nervous about that. Butter beans, not lima beans, butter beans. Um, and then you mix it with, uh, bacon, and I'll just do these real bacon pieces because nobody's got time for that. And then I do, um, like hamburger ground beef in it too. Oh, they're like the best beans ever. And then you do like ketchup and mustard and, um, I think you do dry mustard. I think that's why I got that. Um, and then you do, uh, brown sugar and, oh, it's to die for. Anyway, this is all of the stuff for that, the drinks. What's all in here? I don't know. Um... I get it. I used to drink these all the time and I saw that they were on sale. So I got me some. They had so many flavors. I couldn't remember which ones I used to drink, but I got some of these bubblers. Do these have caffeine in them? Because I need some caffeine. Natural caffeine? Really? Really? I want the good stuff. Give me the like chemical caffeine, okay? <laughs> okay. The groceries got put away. Nothing else is done. We're going to have to do so much when we get home, but it's fine. We got to go to these graduation parties. I am wearing my green earrings that I made. I've got kind of a bald lip going on. Um, that new shirt I showed you, and then my white pants and my little... Um, I feel like it never focuses down there on my feet. My floor is dirty anyway, so it's fine. Um, let's see. What's happening here? Okay, here we go. My little Clark wedges that are so comfy. I have these in orange too, but I thought they would look, um, the brown would look better with this shirt. So that's what we're doing. I also got some of my bracelets on that I made. I never did. I'm going to. I got the other beads in too, the other color beads, but um, I never put the little gold spacers in between, but I want to do them all together since I got the new beads. So at some point, I'll be making bracelets again but right now we gotta go to these parties <laughs> i forgot i was vlogging so i haven't vlogged at all have but ruined these two I, craig they just went into casey's to get me up y'all don't even i told you i needed the chemical caffeine <laughs> oh, it's natural caffeine i don't even know what that means is caffeine natural i don't know anyway i needed a monster because it's 7 30 and i have got to do a ton of stuff when i get home um and i do too you do too yeah because i gotta help you finish. you do have to help because it's you your party lift the toilet clean anyway craig is saying that i've ruined the children because when they go into the gas station they're like oh, this. oh look at this oh this is fun oh look this is new like Gas stations are so fun, right? Are you with me? I like them. this video if you love a good I, gas I wanna, station. I want to make a video of eat gas station food all day. Eat gas station food all day? What, what did you end up getting? A slushy? But I didn't want it. I wanted that caffeine thing. What caffeine thing? You it was it child. was one of those ice drinks. Oh, why don't you just get a regular ice with no caffeine? They didn't have them. I almost bought those. Javi had those on sale this, um week but they were like 12 for 10.99 and aren't they a dollar anyway and i'm like that's not a good deal so i didn't get them anyway well, okay still less than a dollar i know but i mean that's i didn't need hard. 10 of them because we already had pop for the party and i already had gotten those bubblers anywho Wait, the parties you got were some great more? you got some more bubblers yeah but it has natural caffeine in it so you can't have it what <laughs> Have you ever heard those bubbler radio commercials? No. Oh, no, they're so Matt, cool. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. The parties were great. Uh, they had so much fun. The first party had around. people are planting everywhere, and Craig's like freaking out. We are Driving almost done. Pets. It is fun. Uh, the first party had um, pulled pork and cheesy <laughs> potatoes and the most amazing cake I've ever had in my life. I just took a bite of it. I could eat a whole piece. Oh my gosh. That beach trip has ruined me. I am so off track. Anyway, I'm not like 
eating real bread or potatoes or anything, but like I am being, well, okay. So then at the next party <laughs> they had, <laughs> they had tacos, like a taco bar. And so I did my taco, they had like walking, like the bags of chips like to do a walking taco and I did it without the chips. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing good. And then I walk over to the table and she has this whole candy display and a big old bowl full of peanut butter M&Ms. Well, your girl is obsessed with peanut butter M&Ms from forever ago. And I just couldn't resist. So I just got me a little cup full of them. Like, Craig's like, oh, we're eating candy now? And I'm like, I did not. you did say something about you're eating candy. What did you say? I he did. And I'm just like, yes. Yes, we are. Surprised. No, he wasn't like, you're eating candy. Like, well, you shouldn't be the, doing that's that. That's what you said. No, no it wasn't like that. He was just like. <laughs> I'm over he here. Was... I'm, I'm really a good guy, but he, he, nobody he's, on the YouTube appreciates He's you. kind of a good guy. Everybody loves you on the YouTube. Anyway, <laughs> he was surprised that I was eating candy. And I was like, this is my life. Let me live my life. Anyway. I need to get it on track. Mom, but, I got a new trick. So you know this little basketball? If you yeah. Put it right here. Show them the little basketball. They were in the decor at the first party, and so they got to keep one. If you put it right here, see it? in your leg. Okay. Yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a noise. Sounds like it's dead. Okay. Well, that's my child, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna get off here. If I get anything else done when I get home, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'm gonna add tomorrow's kind of um, highlights of the party. I won't like vlog vlog all day, but just highlights um, of, you know, of his parties, like I usually do a Saturday and Sunday on a birthday weekend. So we'll see when we get home or if not, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, y'all, last night was wild and crazy, but we got everything done. I put his little banner up with his um, Titan guys on it. I've got all this laid out. The cakes will go here. I've got the little Tennessee Titan logo cut out with some toothpicks on the back. I don't know why there's a marker over here. Drinks will go in there, but I'll put them over here eventually. I've got the buns. I always do this. I buy these because I think they're better, and then you have to cut them, and it's so annoying. I should remember, but I never do. Um, so I've got hot dog buns and hamburger buns in this little container. Whenever Walmart has this kind of stuff, um, it's usually like 50 cents, so I always like buy... Um, Cut like I have reds, oranges, blues, greens. I think I have black. Of just this like party stuff, and I just store it all downstairs on a shelf. And then, usually for each theme that they pick out, I have something that coordinates, and I can use stuff for parties. So that is what I have. I'll do the veggie tray in this. We've got broccoli, cauliflower, peppers, and carrots. And then I just got some ranch. I'll put the chips um, down in these. I might just even keep them in the bags. We did um, Doritos. He wanted Doritos and um, regular Lay's. I got the wheat thins for the cheesy cheesy dip that's in um, the fridge. I made that last night and then I got the beans going here. I made these last night and just kept them in the fridge so now they're just warming and they'll just stay on low um, all morning um, and while we're at church and then they'll be ready when we get back. I got this for the onion, tomato, and pickles just to kind of have it on here. Um, for like fixings and then I have squeeze bottle mustard mayonnaise and ketchup to put out as well it's just gonna be like <laughs> real low-key especially for me um but that'll be just fine and then my mother-in-law is bringing fruit and I think that's it that'll be enough that'll be plenty we'll be all full um Craig did mop the floors for me last night he's a gem y'all oh I forgot to show you my strawberry court you know what I think I'm going to save it because I feel like this video is going to get long. I'm going to save my strawberry decor and show you that next week um, because next week's going to be crazy because I got a sub. Um, actually, only two days, but still. I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you next week so I have some more stuff to show you. But I just put this little football banner um, up right there. So cute. Um, and then, let's see. McCoy picked out donuts yesterday at... Um, Ugh, Walmart, I can't think of words. I am saving all of my little zip fisk. No, I thought I had a zip fisk container right here, but it's a marker. Wow, I'm like losing it. I'm saving all my zip fisk containers over here so the mayor can do some kind of like recycle project with it for the fair. We haven't decided yet. So if you have any ideas to reuse zip fizz bottles, please let me know below. I'm kind of thinking of like gluing them together and making like a little emergency kit, like with Tylenol and Advil and stuff like that in it. I don't know. They're so small. It's just gonna be hard to find something to do with them. Anyway. Speaking of zip fizz, I'm going to have that here this morning, work on a video for you for tomorrow, and then get ready for the day. Okay, y'all, I'm ready. This is as Tennessee Titans as it gets. I've got this geranium with 
heliotrope little shirt on I got from Amazon. It's linked in my Amazon store for under fashion. It's so stinking cute. They have all sorts of patterns and colors. I have a few um, of these. Anyway, I'm just wearing it with my <laughs> geranium colored earrings that I dyed to match or dyed when I was dyeing everything and then just a little sort of camel cardigan jeans and my cute little um bow I never know what to call these sandal slides whatever they are they're linked to my Amazon storefront as well I absolutely love them they're so comfy and cute I usually when I have parties I have this little like wicker basket thing that has three little spots for the silverware and the thing for the napkins but I don't know what I did with it I cannot find it in my party stuff downstairs so I'm just using this little fiesta it's actually called a napkin holder that's what it's for but I usually like put food in it or whatever or just have it on display um, and then I just have some little um, cups that have footballs on them for the spoons and stuff so that'll be fun um I really didn't do anything else I don't think since the last time I talked to you so hopefully we'll have a bit of time when we get home from church we need to get ice for the drinks um Craig needs to actually cook the burgers and the brats and I need to cut the buns anyway we still have a bit left to do but I'm prepared as I can be at this point <laughs> delivery boys just brought the pop in from the shop fridge I just put the little veggie tray together. Just simple. I'm not even going to put this in a different container, which I normally would, y'all. Who even am I? Um, so I'll just stick this in the fridge until <laughs> that's time to go. Looks like this one got dropped. Old. I'm not old. I'm just tired. Anyway, we need to cut these. Craig's yeah. cutting my onion up. We got to do something with the lettuce. Uh, did I tell y'all my um, tomato story? So in the picture, it had like all these tomatoes on a vine and it was like tomatoes on the vine and there was like six of them on there. So I put one in my cart. I got one tomato, y'all. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother cutting it because like one tomato wasn't gonna feed anybody. And now there's a fly in my refrigerator. Oh my gosh, it's farm life. Die in there anyway. Ew. All right, we got cakes out. Let's see your shirt, Koi. It looks so good, your jersey. We got Tennessee Titan plates. I just grabbed these off of Amazon. There's only like eight of them. So I got red ones to go with. I think I showed you all this already this morning. And then it's cake. So we put the eight on it, not the five. I wish you were five. Um, <laughs> that cake. I just love how the cakes turned out. And then we put this little Tennessee Titan logo there. I don't really have anything in this, but whatever, it's cute. Um, Merritt helped me put the football cheesy cheesy dip yeah, out with um the crackers all around just in a pie dish. Yeah, Let's see, these are I gonna the give these test? to our nieces. Yeah. I hope it's good. Um, we need to put the drinks in this thing. I got the chips out. Mm. All right, it's coming together, y'all. Just a little cold. Well, yeah, we can let it sit out a bit. <laughs> okay, we got some little appetizer-y things done over here. I showed you this. This is coming along. Oh, I don't think we need the counter spray there. We got drinks, we got chips, got fruit coming. We got the beans in here, I'll show you those. Craig's grilling. I got the buns cut. We got kind of like a little relish tray here. I got all the fixins. I just went with easy, kind of not trying to, but the hefty, <laughs> hefty um, paper plates. These are the hobo beans, we call them. It's just um, butter beans, pork and beans, kidney beans, hamburger, bacon, brown sugar, dry mustard, ketchup, and a little vinegar. I think that's all I put in there anyway. They're delicious. So those are in there. Um, what else? I think that's it. Merritt is fixing my little um, diffuser over there so that we can have nice smelling um, honeysuckle, I think is what we chose. All ready to go. Magnetic tie. Magnetic tie. Magnetic tie. So I can make like a puzzle? You can customize it. Oh my gosh. It's like uh, magnets for the fridge. Hey. I love the tropical candy. and I love the wild berry. Yes. Sugar rush. Sasquatch. Camping with Sasquatch. Is that a game? The card game with Aurora. Ooh. Where is this from? From Daddy. You know he loves card games. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I feel like it's gonna be the flag football well, set. Well, you did ask for that, so it's a pretty good bet. <laughs> yeah, it's a flag football set. It's a Do you love it? You will. Can you bring it to school, you think? 
Is there more than one in there? Yes. Yeah. How many? Eight of them? Uh, yeah, eight. Mm -hmm. One, um, a home and one away. Yeah. Me that you were getting. I know, surprise. Oh, what are they? <laughs> they're the little things for the. Oh, wow. Do you think they'll all fit in here? Yeah. <laughs> you love it? <laughs> <They're so good>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the counter thing. For like what counter thing? Oh, wait. It's all oh, the helmets. Oh. Let me see. Oh. And then you can keep the. I was trying to say it the other day. What? Like the standings oh. of all of them all year. Let me see it. And then it's. Cool. Can you do that one? I don't think you can. Is that all? Muscles. Oh, muscles. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he tried so hard. Is there an easier one in there? Right? Here. Try it. Do it for you? Yeah. <laughs> here, here, just like that. Just so simple. Show off. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear McCorn. Happy birthday to you. Shot, shot, shot. So I wanted to show you the Ollie ball. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Let me see it, Coy. I thought it was going to be like baseball, baseball size. Bat. Oh, you thought it was a butt bat? Here, hold it up so I can see what's and on a it. Ball. A bat and a ball. Well, it's got all the baseball like stuff on it. Now you can customize it and color it and everything. It's really neat. And you're supposed to be able to like, use it in the house and not break stuff. Yeah. I will, uh, well, is it, I've already linked it for you in the gift idea um, video. So there you go. <laughs> oh. And now his favorite part, he gets to customize it. It says, did I say this already? I don't know, but it says you can use any markers or any crayons even too to color on them. So he's just using some markers. This is really fun, y'all. And I will um, link it below for you again, just in case uh, you want to get this for some kids or grandkids so they don't break your house or the things in your house. <laughs> All right, they're over here designing his Crocs. He wants to do 4-H one. A 4-H one and then a sports one or what? Is this so fun? <laughs> he racked up, y'all. Let's see. Um, what haven't you seen? This was the helmet thing that I had shown you. Super cool. He's going to hang this on his wall and then be able to have all the standings and track all the teams. He got a little origami kit. Merritt has this, so now they can both have one. Um, he got lots of candy. Um, I showed you this. I showed you the books. Oh, he got a Walmart gift card. That'll be so fun. Oh, you got money. I had forgotten to show you all this, but I had gotten the San Padre, Padre, San Diego Padres, Joe Journeyman puzzle. Y'all know how we love Joe Journeyman. Um, so I gave him that as well. We got to finish this Tennessee Titan ones first. We want to open this and see what these look like. They look so cool. Um, and more candy. I think you saw everything else. So, McCoy, did you have a good birthday? Yeah. What's your favorite color? Blue. What's your favorite sport? Football. Okay, that's good. What's your favorite TV show? Let's see. I thought you were going to say like Big Time Rush. Yeah, Big Time Rush. Or Big City Greens. Yeah. You like that too? What? Uh, what's your favorite food? Mom, can you take this horse? Yeah, what's your favorite food? Uh, the horse off you don't want Hamburgers. <laughs> Okay, he needs me to remove a horse off of his um, croc. Oh, because it's oh, touching the... You want to move it? Um, Craig just went out to give Marty some water. I think we're all going to take a nice family nap. No, They won't, but I will. <laughs> Y'all know I love my Sunday afternoon. So, it was a fabulous, fabulous day celebrating our big eight-year-old. Um, and I put them in four-wheel drive. Oh, he puts them in four-wheel drive because he puts this strap on the back. Um, I am seven tomorrow and we're going to see Mama <laughs> Mia tomorrow night. Um, there's a big tulip festival in our community um, and they do a musical oh, every year. Mind. I don't need you to You want to leave it? Um, and this year's Mama Mia and yeah. I absolutely love it. I've seen it before in but Minneapolis. But switch the cow, the cow. Um, So me and Mary and some other gals are gonna go see Mama Mia tomorrow. So I'm not vlogging tomorrow, but I'll vlog Tuesday and let you know all about it. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.